you are welcome everyone to another video tutorial today we want to look at components uh, what are components components are the building blocks of any react applications components are reusable now when we say components are the building blocks of any application it means in react components are so so vital so you are going to create a component every time even the app.js that we are putting all our JSX is a component. Yeah, this is a component, app.js. So let's go deep into components. Components are reusable. It means I can use a component in different um, pages or in different uh, places in my React projects because they are re reusable. Components are JavaScript functions that returns JSX in ESCs. So components are JavaScript functions that return JSX. If you look at this app, this app.js, this is a function. And I told you that what app is a component. And what is it returning? Is this not JSX? This is JSX. So it means I it means uh, all components must return what JSX as their output. That's what it means. So we look further. Components must start with a capital letter. All components must start with an uppercase letter or a capital letter. So if you look at this app.js, you notice that the A is what uppercase letter. App. A P P. The A is uppercase. So all components must start with an uppercase character or letter. So we we'll move to the next one. Components are one of the most important concepts in React. So let's go create our first component because it's so so important. So I um, will come here inside the SRC folder inside this SRC folder I will create um, a folder I'll call it components component folder so in this component folder is where I will keep all my remaining components in so let's create our first component. So I'll call this component. What should I call this component? Um, looking at what a name to call it. Okay, let me just call it. Um, uh, what should I call it? Let me say call it text. Text dot js. Remember, I told you that what component must start with an uppercase letter. So you can see the text dot js. The t is uppercase letter. So that's what you should know. So I'll generate my boilerplate. So this is a component I've just created called text.js. So in this component here, I can decide to come here and put my JSX. I'll put h1. I'll put um, list of um, who is the author. Who is the author of things? fall apart things fall apart things fall apart who is the author of things fall apart so you can come here and start putting some some stuff which you already know some come here and put my on um, another list come here and put li which you know already from your uh, html come here i put wale so inka this so in car I come here I put another li tag so let me just copy and duplicate it multiple times let me just copy and duplicate it multiple times I come here I put Chino Achebe Chino Achebe I come here I put Ola Rotimi Ola Rotimi Come here, I put William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. So if I save this, you won't get to see anything on the browser yet. And you know the reason why. Remember in our previous class, I said that was anything that is not in your app.js will not show on what the browser. So this is a component I've just created called text.js. So how can I display it on the browser? I'll go to my app.js, which is the parent component. 
I will take come here. I want it to be displayed here. So I will create a component. I will import my components here so that I can use it. And what's the name of my component? Text.js. So I'll do this. Text. Sorry. I'll do this. I'll say text. Text.js. You can see. So you don't need to put the text.js here. Just import text from forward slash components folder, which we created this from forward slash this text. You can see that. So if you save this, you are going to now see your the things fall apart on the browser. So you can see that we say who is the author of things fall apart? Well, it's so in cars, Chino Achebe, or to me, William Shakespeare. So you can see we have what we've created a component and we've imported it into where we want to use it. So you can duplicate this component multiple times. You can duplicate multiple times if you want. If you save this, you are going to get the same thing multiple times. You can see that because I duplicated it multiple times. Who is the author of things fall apart? Who is the author of, author of things fall apart? Who is the author of things fall apart? It keeps duplicating itself. Uh, you get that now. So that's the component. So components are reusable. I can also reuse this component in another word component. You get that? Because they are reusable. So if you look at this, I have just reused the component of this text.js. I have reused it inside this app.js. And I've duplicated it more, more, uh, four times, and you saw the result on the browser. Yeah. But if you notice, everything here still bothers to who it also of things fall apart. Auto of things fall apart. If you want to now make it to be unique, if you want to change some of them to different to different uh, attributes or to different stuff, you can do that by passing a props to this. So we're going to talk about props in our next class. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys in our next class.